This is the story of Cruella de Vil. You usually only hear about the Cruella who wanted to skin puppies, but there is so much more to this hot mess. Back in the day, Cruella and Anita, the owner of the famous Dalmatians, were college roommates. Cruella was one of those skinny bitches who somehow survived off of Diet Coke, Starbucks, and vodka. When someone told her to dress for the job she wanted and not the job she had, she showed up the next day in lingerie and angel wings. At first, Anita loved her flippant sarcasm and casual disregard for convention. Like when someone would be talking and she'd look at her watch and say, Oh, hold on, let me check my give a Oh, no, nothing, I got no reading. But after a while, she began to get under Anita's skin. It was the little things she did, like when they'd go to get manicures and Cruella spent half an hour on FaceTime with her bestie from home who was aggressively basic. Anita even swears she heard the Korean ladies say something like, Tong sin un mi du se da basic bitch. Ha ha ha. It was so embarrassing. To make matters worse, Cruella's appearance became more and more ridiculous. It wasn't long before Cruella would be talking to her, and Anita wouldn't hear a word she was saying because the only thing going through her mind was, Dear God, what did the bitch do to her eyebrows? It's true that her hair had always been half black, half white, ever since she was a baby, and it was part of her allure. Cruella hooked up with a lot of guys, like a lot. And Anita suspected that many of them just wanted to see if the carpet matched the drapes. But Cruella was also impossibly thin. Sure, she lived off of caffeine, kale chips, and flax seeds Monday through Friday, but when Saturday morning rolled around and Cruella woke up hungover as shit, the first thing she did was blow $200 on food delivery. And when the food finally came, she let it sit there getting cold for 45 minutes while she decided what to watch on Netflix. At this point, it didn't even matter because she would then proceed to go through her Snapchat stories to figure out who banged who last night. And this is how Cruella's life went, month after month, year after year. She and Anita eventually graduated college, probably her last noteworthy accomplishment, and went their separate ways. Anita went on to a successful career and got engaged to a lovely man named Roger. Cruella continued to party like Rick James and dress like a sorority girl on Halloween. If one were to judge her purely by her Instagram account, Cruella was the most badass, well-traveled, and genuinely happy with life person on the planet. But the way someone's life is going is always inversely proportional to how it looks like it's going on social media, and Cruella was no exception. She slowly went off the deep end, hitting rock bottom when she wanted to skin puppies. Apparently, she decided she'd rather make her clothes herself than wait for Zappos to ship her order, which she was only going to have to return because nothing ever fits me right. I hate all of my clothes. How the hell is my storage full when I just deleted like a hundred photos? Fuck my life! If you liked this story or would like to learn more, please tune in to the Netflix original series on Cruella de Vil making a fur herder. Irving stuck to his trade and did get back to his five-star Fuber rating. It was after a few years that he met a Thai princess from the story The Crow, the Cuckoo, and the Owl.